caught me playing with a little attachment here and this is for a transducer to be hung down over the transom of a boat and be able to shift it in a slight bit of angle off of the 45 degrees and 180 degree twist so that you can follow your your chum line and take a look around other than straight down uh, when you're drift fishing and uh, that attachment there is going to be uh, made up and tested out on uh, my buddy Vince's boat um, what we have here and, and of course I can't rewind real life and uh, and this is like take two uh, except for I can't I can't untake my welding all right now this this package here is from uh, Dennis Luffler from uh, uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin and uh, what he sent me was his Crichton boring head and it uh, he, when he picked it up it, it had a three-quarter inch straight shank and he untwisted this and he wanted to incorporate a R8 collet assembly and so he procured a brand new R8 collet um, shank fits right in there and this uh, this thread is made to fit right into the Crichton head but this other attachment here had this threaded sleeve in here and I went in and Healy arced up the inside of the sleeve and that's where the footage or the video footage that I lost was actually creating that weld so anyway we set that up here and we were doing some welding and we created a bead all the way around on the inside of this to shrink the threaded ring in there so we take it on into the vise in the other room and we get this cranked out and so here's from the footage of our welding on into the rest of the project here we go Bead run all the way around there. Now let's see. I don't know if it cooled down en enough. We'll let it cool down just a little bit, and we'll see how that shrinks enough to actually spin out of there. Well, it's not falling out of there. Okay. Let's just see if maybe. A little tap against uh, one of the openings there. Yeah, she's unscrewing. All right, we. Uh, We've got it to move with the punch there, but it's a long period or drawn up. We have a one of our cutouts here that we've been using on holding the material down on our auto car project, and it was an extra cutout, so we decided to go ahead tap that in there between two of our wells, and we're going to see. There we go. We can use it like a screwdriver. 
we don't need the ground clamp on here. Alright, so Alright, we're gonna go put it in a big boy vise so that we can get a wrench on there and we can unscrew that and it is coming out and we can put that back in there. At least it's like a screwdriver slot between our welds where those pinholes were. Okay, we got this tightened down in the vise here. Now it's not so hard because we can hold this uniform or even on the top here. I did decide to get a little stubborn there. Let's see if we can tap that back down in there. That was on that it only comes out to that far right there and then decides to stop. Alright. We got a fresh one of our pieces here. And instead of tapping it in that way, we turn it and we tapped it the other direction here so we can go ahead and maybe work on it from this side here. Maybe it'll be different. Yeah. Oh. Go figure, you know. it was probably just really coated with Loctite and the threads look good in both directions there I'm gonna get a little wire brush clean that out a little bit blow it completely cool this thing down we're gonna run this probably on the lapping paper just to make sure there's no highs or anything else right here and we're going to go ahead and test the fit of the R8 in here. Okay, we finished blowing that out. We got interrupted. We had to run down to the post office and uh, put a hat and a shirt in the mail for Gwen Perry, Barry, um, because uh, he he had a uh, th he did the new intro on my videos and uh, we got to talking and I I was busy and forgot to uh, uh, get him something in there, uh, so I wanted to get that down there. All right, <coughs> we wire brush that we we already opened we're ready to put this in here except for we want to go ahead and we want to just kiss that off a little bit on the lap just give it a couple motions and you can see a couple little highs on there but it is almost all the way around I just want to make sure that we got a good flat surface There we 
we go. Okay. I'm not going to lock this in there. I'm going to let you lock it in there. You might want to screw it in with some Loctite or whatever. This uh, is a good fit though. And thanks for sending it this way here. It's kind of honored to remove that piece that was stuck in there, the threaded insert. I really like my Crichton head and it's, it is the same as this. Here's mine. Actually, mine doesn't say Crichton anywhere. This one does. <laughs> Costa Mesa, California. Uh, just a little bit north of where I actually, uh, um, actually now I forget whether Costa Mesa was slightly below or slightly above Oceanside, but it was near Oceanside. All right, Dennis, um, I'm going to get this box back up for you, and uh, I'm going to put I'm going to put the arbor back in the plastic and in the box, and we'll put the components back in here the way you had them. And I'll get this shipped uh, right back to you, and it'll probably leave here tomorrow. All right, Dennis, I'll uh, go ahead and throw the same insurance and ship it back to you the same way, and uh, and we can tag on the uh, on the bill after you get it back. Um, it wasn't a very hard job. Still call it a get her done. All right, I'll get that out there tomorrow. All right, for everybody else. We are ready to rock and roll, and uh, I'm going to be starting set up on this. And Brian, we're going to get your mat tracks underway so you can get them back. You're going to have snow before most of us anyway, and, uh, and you know I don't want to hold you up from your fun. All right, keep looking for the videos. Get her done. <laughs>